Okay, with the EG24, we'll look at a different a couple of different ways of doing this. I may separate this into two clips actually. So here it goes now. So the edges of a cube are of length x centimeters. Given that the volume of the cube is being increased at a rate of um, p centimeter cube per second, where p is a constant, calculate in terms of p uh, in centimeters squared per se second the rate at which the surface area of the cube is increasing when x is 5. So we want um, the rate at which the surface area of the cube is increasing. So if um, we call the surface area A, then we're looking for dA dt. So using the chain rule, we know that that's going to be dA d something times d something d t. So as far as the something is concerned, if we go back into the information that we're given here, we're given a volume. We're given dv dt equals p. So that means that my cloud, my d something, is in terms of volume. So I have dA dt equals dA dv, sorry, yeah, dv times dv dt. So I've got dv dt, I know it's p. So I need a relationship for uh, which links the volume and the area. Now if you think of a cube, we've got lengths, widths, heights, x. I've got the volume is x cubed. And the surface area, in terms of x, is going to be, well, each side is going to have a, an area of x squared, and there are six of them. So the area will be 6x squared. So what I need to do here is um, either eliminate x from the expression. So we'll do that first as the first possible way of dealing with this. <coughs> so I want dA dV. So I want to eliminate um, the x and get it in terms of v. So either x equals the cube root of v, which when I then substitute into a, will become 6 instead of x v to the third squared which is a 6 v to the two thirds. Now I can differentiate that you get dA dV is 6 times two thirds v and when you subtract 1 from 2 thirds, you get minus 1 third. So dA dV equals 4V to the minus the third. So if I now put all of that into my chain rule equation, so in one dA dt equals dA dv which I've got is 4v to the minus the third multiplied by dV dt which is p so 
So da dt will be 4p over the cubed root of v. Now I'll go back to the question. Um, calculate in terms of p the rate at which the surface area of the cube is increasing when x equals 5. So when x equals 5 the volume will be 5 cubed and the rate dA dt will be 4p over the cubed root of v which is 5 cubed. So the cube and the cube root undo each other and you're left with 4 fifths p centimeters squared per second. So that's one way of doing it. The other way of doing it which we could have done at this point is um, using our parametric work we could have added another chain rule. So if I take that up here so if I want dvda or da dv actually is what I want isn't it so if I want da dv and I've got this variable x then that's going to be da d something times d something dv and the third variable cloud in this case is going to be x so da dv is da dx times dx dv so da dx is going to be 12x dv dx would be 3x squared so dx dv would be 1 over 3x squared so therefore da dv will be da dx which is 12x times dx dv which would be 1 over 3x squared so that will be 4 over x so the 3 goes into that 4 times that x cancels with one of those there. So dA dV is 4 over x. <coughs> so going back to where we started in 1, dA dt equals dA dV, which we now know is 4 over x, multiplied by dV dt, which we know is p. So that's going to be 4p over x and then at the particular instant where x equals 5 dA dt would be 4p over 5 which is what we arrived at the other way. So there's more than one way of skinning the cat as far as that question is concerned. Sometimes that's the case, other times it isn't. Both, the, both ways are, are equally uh, feasible and neither of them are particularly um, challenging.